Teaching Divided Histories is an innovative three-year project using digital media to look at the history of the conflict in Northern Ireland with second level pupils. So really we're using digital technologies to look at what has happened in Northern Ireland, training the teachers to use the digital technologies but also supplying them then with resources to use within a classroom environment. And really what it seeks to do is improve understandings around the histories of our conflict and other conflicts within the curriculum, within schools in Northern Ireland and in the Republic along both sides of the border. The way we're seeking to do this is by training teachers, giving teachers the skills, the confidence and the competences in how to deal with contentious and divided histories and then how to get into the specifics of dealing with the, the histories and the conflict here in Northern Ireland. This project is right at the heart of the Peace 3 programme. I think it's crucial for us to be able to see the multiplier effect of what we're doing way beyond the lifetime of the programme. And I think uh, uh, the fact that it's an education-based project actually guarantees us that. The uh, introduction, the insertion of these methodologies, of these ideas, these approaches into the curriculum within schools, uh, the development of trained teachers capable of actually implementing it ensures uh, uh, a long lifespan for, 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 for the outputs and results from this project. There are all sorts of barriers to engagement with issues of conflict for teachers and schools in Northern Ireland and the Republic for very good reasons. Um, th th this is raw emotional history. Um, it's very, very recent. People are worried about taking sides, showing partiality, bringing up very sensitive subjects into the classroom. And also we're still in the situation where our teachers, an older generation, hasn't got a full understanding of what happened here. Never mind trying to educate and train young people in that. So this project seeks to address a lot of those issues by bringing new understandings of conflict into the classroom. We've delivered training to teachers in four different softwares. So we've been using Comic Life, Audacity, GIMP and Movie Maker. We're developing a number of supports for the teachers. So we'll be delivering lesson plans to them and supplying uh, suggested video links for them to use within the classroom to act as a catalyst for discussion around all the topics to do with the history of the conflict in Northern Ireland. Uh, one element of the project that's been crucial to the teachers is the in-class support element. Um, the, the, it's, it can be very daunting for the teachers so to have uh, myself or Emma in class with them gives them a great deal of confidence when delivering these digital technologies for the first time. I think for, for many teachers uh, they can have a natural fear of all things digital because you know for them it's beyond maybe what they might see as their their competence at that particular point in time so to have that in-class support was absolutely essential. As a teacher I think I've gained a, a lot from the Divided Histories project not only have I learnt new skills but it's also given me the confidence to use them in the classroom. The project uh, provided um, in in classroom support which was invaluable. I didn't really have the confidence even though I'd had the training to actually deliver a lesson without the support. I imagined all these things going wrong but with Matthew there he gave me the confidence to deliver the lesson and when I used it with another class I did it myself. I didn't need the, the support. Throughout the development of the resources we've worked closely with SIA and the Curriculum Development Unit in Dublin to ensure that the resources are as closely linked to the curriculum both north and south of the border as possible. I think projects like Teaching Divided Histories are important because they help schools, help teachers uh, to uh, develop their own teaching strategies in the introduction of the, of the curriculum. So it provides fantastic opportunities for teachers to, to, uh, to develop their own um, teaching and learning experiences for, uh, for their own individual circumstances. We're interested in exploring all the time different ways of addressing and, uh, and participating in peace building and this is an, a key element to peace building. Looking at the histories and how they're uh, perceived and uh, in particular this project is focusing in a, a very unique way on this area, particularly using all the digital media resources that are available. We're aware that you know, schools may still find it difficult to, to learn about the conflict here in Northern Ireland, but maybe the first point in, in, in that is to go and learn about conflict in India, or to go and learn about conflict in the Lebanon or Sri Lanka. So that we have an international partner through the British Council who, who we work with to build those, those networks between schools here and in other parts of the world and to bring that wider perspective, wider knowledge into the project as well. The bottom line for us is that we look and see that the societies that sort of share with each other, that learn from each other, are the most successful societies, and that's our aim. And we find that one of the ways of doing that is through linkages um, internationally 
between schools uh, and so Teaching Divided Histories fits very well within that remit. When I got the email uh, September 2012, I was really interested in it. Uh, so we teach Northern Ireland at Key Stage 3 and at uh, GCSE as well. And sometimes it can be very dry and mundane and taught from different perspectives. So we, I thought it was interesting to meet up with teachers from different schools, both cross-border and cross-community, to get their take upon it and which way it's taught in different schools. And I mean, it's been a great benefit to the students, I feel. For us, working with the schools in the north has been great because, first of all, um, we would never have done that prior to the Divided Histories Project. We would never have thought um, to even look um, and to dare to see what was there. But the way that they teach de um, history in the north is completely different from the way we teach it here in the south. And they would use more digital images and more comic life, that sort of stuff, more computers than what we would use. And we probably have um, stepped up now and started to use more digital images, more video, all of that sort of stuff within our classrooms. It's a tribute to the Nerve Centre and to all those involved in the design, delivery and implementation of this project that they have brought such a high degree of creativity and imagination to the concept and to, 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 the, to the methodologies that are being developed in this project. And yes, I think it is a, an example of best practice and one that uh, is well worth sharing, not just here on this island of Ireland, but internationally with other educators.